Hey my loves, I am back and I'm here with another look of the day. I hope you all have missed me because I've missed you all. I've been a little bit busy over the weekend and you know into this week so yeah but I'm back and it was well overdue to beat this face down. So this is what I decided to come up with. I call this one Exotic Peacock. And it looks like that. So let's get right into it. Let me show you guys what I use to uh, achieve this look. And I started the eye look off with a base. And that base is by, oh, there it goes down, e.l.f. And it looks like this. It's in the color Midnight Rendezvous. It's similar to the jumbo black and white pencils. Except this one has a little bit of a shimmer color in it. It's like a sparkle. And that's where you see the shimmer color there. I use that as a base, and it is black. Some people are afraid to use black as a base and then use a color shadow on top, but it's very possible. It actually makes the color pop very nicely if you want um, a darker look. Now for my eyelid, that blue color that you see here all over the lid is coming out of my Ruby Kisses Luxe palette. It's a quad, you create your own, and I decided to use this color here which is called Till Me Over. And I have that all on the first, I would say, two thirds of my lid. Excuse the crater, guys. I'm having a breakout moment, and I'm really not feeling it. <laughs> okay, so next I actually used a couple of colors out of my Coastal Scent Smoky palette. Sorry, guys. I should have been more prepared. Excuse my palette. We always drop at least one out. But I use this lighter purple here and this darker purple here together towards the outer crease. And I work that up into the uh, transition color, actually. And what I did was smoke it out with a purple color that looks like this. This is by Jordana. It's a loose, high-definition maintenance color in the number 21, which is purple. So that purple was darker. I just wanted to smoke the look out a little bit. Now the pink that you see towards the higher point of my um, eye, getting close to the brow bone, that pink is this mauve pink here. And this is my Coastal Scents Smoky Palette. It's the 36 colors. So yeah, it's that pink right there. And that's what it looks like up close. And I wanted to give my inner tear duct a pop of color as well. But these pinks were a little bit too dark, so I'll show you what I used. Excuse me, guys. I'm like, so unprepared here. Um, this is the pink that I placed in the center of my inner tear duct, and it looks like that. Okay, so that's going to complete the eyes. I did a wing liner in black, the color Jet by Coastal Scents. And my lashes are by Envy Kiss in the number 16. Okay, it's pretty much drug my liner out pretty far. I usually do that because it just elongates your eyes. And of course, I swept the same colors underneath the bottom lash line. I have the purple, to, uh, the pink towards the inner, and then the purple towards the outer of the bottom lash line. And my brow bone highlight is coming out of my Urban Decay Naked One palette, and it's in the color Buck. I didn't set my brows today with any type of um, gel. I just did, it's simply pencil. Now, moving on to my lips, which I probably should add a little bit more lip gloss. This lip gloss is uh, by Buxom. It's the bright. It's the color Cha Cha Cha. And it looks like this. But first, before I put that on, I use my NYX Lip Butter in the color Bit of Honey, which is like a really, I don't know, it's like a nude peachy color, but that was like too light for the look I was going for. I wanted to give it a more of a pink hue, so I added some of this on top.
And I always line my lips. It gives it a little bit of definition because sometimes I could look like, you know, a little crazy. Some stuff around your lips with, um, without it being lined when I'm wearing a lighter color lipstick. Especially being as though my skin tone is more of a brown color. So my cheeks, I highlighted um, with, well, I highlighted under the eyes with my Graftobian Concealer Palette. And I also contoured as well with the same thing. And I top my contour here with uh, Black Radiance Rich Mahogany, that pressed powder. And I have a favorites for the month video either uploading before this one or it'll come after. But you will see that I included this Black Radiance pa uh, powder in my monthly favorite. So yeah, I topped everything off with my Mineralize Skin Finish by MAC. And that is going to complete my entire look. I'll zoom in and show you guys what that color pigment looks like. And just so you know, I mean, this is all drugstore products. So you can create, um, I guess, like an electric palette look. Very similar, you know, by using drugstore products. It works just as well. So that's going to complete my look. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mwah.